All right, here we go. Another issue. This is a Dodge Ram 2500 heavy duty diesel Cummins 6.7. <clears throat> this is a 2016. The big common problem are these rear fuel filters get seized and fused to uh, the chamber. They get so bad that you can try everything. Now I finally found the fix. I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. You gotta use a blow dryer or a heat gun. Okay, I used this huge monkey wrench to take it off, uh, popped a hole with the screwdriver, and this right here is what fixed that problem. I don't like to make my videos too long, but I wanna explain something. Now that I've already showed you how to take that off, again, you take that blow dryer and you just heat up this round edge and it'll slide right off. First thing you want to do is you want to bleed this, okay, with your gasoline. And you have to understand this whole thing, this whole canister is filled with gas. So take that that amount of gas into a cup that big, okay? And you're going to un, unrelease this, and it's going to allow the gas to flow. And then I highly recommend, if you're going to be doing your own job with this, get a 300 millimeter wrench and just put it in your truck, and that's what you're going to use every time. Don't use any other pliers or anything like that because you're going to damage this. This is plastic. This fits right on it. Once you drained all that, once you drained all the fuel, you're going to take this. Fits nice and perfect, and you just take it off before you even take the canister off. I know a lot of people like to just take this off and take the whole canister. It's best not even to mess with this because this is going to ruin your day and another hundred bucks, I think. So just buy this. This is you got a this is a cheap one. I think it was like twelve dollars. Okay. Put this in your truck, and this is what you're going to use every time. You bleed this, you take this off, this releases the pressure, and if it gets stuck, you heat it up with a, with a heat gun or a blow dryer, and this will come right off. Okay, don't go through all this nonsense that, that everybody else is going through. And that's it. Once you, see, once you get your new one, the reason why it seizes is because you don't put any oil on this. you got to put oil on this bad boy. Okay? You put oil on this very thoroughly, and when you put it on, you snug it back up, you just hand tighten it. Once you get a hand tighten it, look, I even broke this off this. <clears throat> you take this and you just do a little notch and that's it. You don't need any more than that. Okay, hope, hope this saved your day.